Topic 3 Reasoning and Problem Solving Reasoning and Problem Solving comes under the topic of thinking. So thinking is divided into four types reasoning, problem solving, skill acquisition, errors and mental models. Reasoning is divided into inductive reasoning, objective reasoning, deductive reasoning. Problem solving is divided into gestalt theory, problem space theory and analogy in problem solving. Let us discuss about thinking. Humans on the other hand are able to use information to reason and solve problems and indeed do these activities when the information is partial or unavailable. Human thought is conscious and self-aware. While we may not always be able to identify the process we use, we can identify the products of these processes, our thoughts. In addition, we are able to think about things of which we have no experience and solve problems which we have never seen before. Thinking can require different amounts of knowledge. Some thinking activities are much directed and the knowledge required is constrained. Others require vast amount of knowledge from different domains. For example, performing a subtraction calculation requires a relatively small amount of knowledge from a constrained domain, whereas understanding newspaper headlines demands. Next is reasoning. Reasoning is the process by which we use the knowledge we have to draw conclusions or infer something new about the domain of interest. There are number of different types of reasoning, deductive, inductive, objective. We use each of these types of reasoning in everyday life but they differ in significant ways. Next we discuss about deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning derives the logically necessary conclusion from the given premises. For example, if it is Friday, then she will go to work. It is Friday. Therefore, she will go to work. Inductive reasoning. Induction is generalizing from cases we have seen to infer information about cases we have not seen. Induction is a useful process which we use constantly in learning about our environment. We can never see all the elephants that have ever lived or will ever live. But we have certain knowledge about elephants which we are prepared to trust for all practical purposes which has largely been inferred by induction. Even if we saw an elephant without a trunk, we would be unlikely to move from our position that all elephants have trunks since we are better at using positive than negative evidence. Objective reasoning Abduction reasons from a fact to the action or state that caused it. This is the method we use to derive explanations for the events we observe. For example, suppose we know that Sam always drives too fast when she has been drinking. If we see Sam driving too fast, we may infer that she has been drinking. Of course, this is too is unreliable since there may be another reason why she is driving fast. She may have been called to an emergency. Next, we move to problem solving. Human problem solving is characterized by the ability to adapt the information we have to deal with new situations. Often solutions seem to be original and creative. There are a number of different views of how people solve problems. The Gestalt view that problem solving involves both reuse of knowledge and insight. This has been largely superseded but the questions it was trying to address remain and its influence can be seen in later research. In the 1970s, by Newell and Simon was the problem space theory, which takes the view that the mind is a limited information processor, Gestalt theory. Gestalt psychologist 
were answering the claim made by behaviorist that problem solving is a matter of reproducing known responses or trial and error this explanation was considered by the gestalt school to be insufficient to account for human problem solving behavior instead they claimed problem solving is both productive and reproductive Reproductive problem solving draws on previous experience as the behaviorist claimed but productive problem solving involves insight and restructuring of the problem indeed reproductive problem solving could be a hindrance to finding a solution since a person may fixate on the known aspects of the problem and so be unable to see novel interpretations that might lead to a solution gestalt psychologist backed up their claims with experimental evidence problem space theory newell and simon proposed that problem solving centers on the problem space the problem space comprises problem states and the problem solving involves generating these states using legal state transition operators the problem has an initial state and a goal state and people use the operators to move from the former to the later such problem spaces may be huge and so heuristics are employed to select appropriate operators to reach the goal one such heuristic is means end analysis in means end analysis the initial state is compared with the goal state and an operator chosen to reduce the difference between the two newell and simon's theory and their general problem solver model which is based on it have largely been applied to problem solving in well defined domains for example solving puzzles these problems may be unfamiliar but the knowledge that is required to solve them is present in the statement of the problem and the expected solution is clear in real world problems finding the knowledge required to solve the problem may be part of the problem or specifying the goal may be difficult analogy in problem solving a third element of problem solving is the use of analogy here we are interested in how people solve novel problems one suggestion is that this is done by mapping knowledge relating to a similar known domain to the new problem is called analogical mapping similarities between the known domain and the new one are noted and operators from the known domain are transferred to the new one example a doctor is treating a malignant tumor in order to destroy it he needs to blast it with high intensity rays however these will also destroy the health issue surrounding the tumor if he lessens the rays intensity the tumor will remain how does he destroy the tumor the solution to this problem is to fire low intensity rays from different directions converging on the tumor the healthy tissue receives harmless low intensity rays while the tumor receives the rays combined making a high intensity dose the investigators found that only 10% of subjects reached this solution without help skill acquisition all of the problem solving that we have considered so far has concentrated on handling unfamiliar problems a commonly studied domain is chess playing it is particularly suitable since it lends itself easily to representation in terms of problem space theory the initial state is the opening board position the goal state is one player checkmating the other operators to move states or legal moves of chess it is therefore possible to examine skilled behavior within the context of the problem space theory of problem solving error and mental models human capability for interpreting and manipulating information is quite impressive some are trivial resulting in no more than temporary inconvenience or annoyance others may be more serious 
requiring substantial effort to correct errors result from an incorrect understanding or model of a situation or system if you have any doubts leave your doubts in the comment section thank you